Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. I'm Sam. What is your name? My name is Mia. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Denmark. Interesting. I want us to talk about travel experience. Yeah. How many countries have you visited? Uh, I don't have the number of it, but I've visited a lot of countries in Europe, and I've also been to quite a lot of countries in mostly Southeast Asia. Okay. Like. Which country, for example? I've been to Malaysia, Singapore, the Philippines, uh, Thailand, Vietnam. Yeah. Okay, you have been to many countries. Which country do you like the most? Um, I think I like Thailand the most, um, but that's because that's the whole overall experience. Yes. Yeah. Uh, why? It's very nice people. It's very beautiful. And a lot of other travelers to meet. And, well, the weather, obviously. Okay. And uh, when is your worst travel experience? I think your worst travel experience? Yeah, the worst travel experience? Um, I had been traveling for a long time and my boyfriend at the time had been there to meet me mm -hmm. and then he went home and traveling was not that fun after, it was very hard, um, so I felt very alone, so that was um, that was the worst. Okay, and uh, which country did you best travel to? Uh, first? Well, I've, I've been to a lot of places in Europe, but uh, my first place outside of Europe was Thailand. What? Thailand. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, do you like to travel solo or like to travel with friends? I mainly like to travel solo. Um, and then I make friends as I go. And uh, I like to have friends come and visit me, but I, I like to go alone. Okay. How many languages do you speak? Uh, I speak two languages very well, and then I have like three I I speak the basic of. Yes, which are those languages? Uh, that would be French, Spanish, and Swedish, and maybe German as well. Uh, so in Germany, do you have problem communicating with people? Uh, no, I think that it's quite funny, like you can go a lot of places with just the English uh, language but then if the English language isn't enough you need to use your hands and communicate with your body. Okay, very nice. Uh, as you travel, do you try to learn any language? Uh, yes, I try to learn the basic. Uh, I really want to know how you say hello and how you say thank you and that's the that's the basic piece I have. Nice. Have you ever gotten lost while traveling? What? Sir? Have you ever gotten lost while traveling? If uh, sometimes you travel and you don't know your direction. Mm. Yes. What well, do you do? Usually I uh, travel without having internet on my phone. So I rely on my sense to find my direction. And if not, you have to ask people, and it's also a good way to just get to know someone and get to know the local people. Okay, nice. Uh, which country has the friendliest people? I think Thailand has the most friendliest people. Wow. Can you speak Thai? I know one sentence. <laughs> what is it? Sipsing among my mouth. Oh, what does it mean? I'm not sure if it's correct, but I've been told that it means I've had seven years and I'm drunk. Wow, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Have you been to Africa? No, I've never been to Africa. Okay, what do you think about Africa? I have heard a lot of uh, people have, who have been there uh, who recommend it a lot. So it's definitely, definitely on my bucket list. I'd like to go there someday. What did they tell you about? Well, it's uh, crazy wildlife. Experience um, and a lot of hospitality as well. So good, good things that people mention. Okay. And uh, what about the food? What is your favorite food? Um, I think it's the Thai cuisine. I 
really like Masaman curry and Anik curry. As you travel, uh, when you meet people, right? What is the, the first impression that you get from people? Mm. It's always different from the people that you meet, but most often it's solo travelers that I meet, and from them you, the first impression is that they are um, wild spirits, maybe such as myself. Wow. And do you, is there any place that you can recommend someone who wants to travel around the world? What are? Is there any country that you can recommend to someone? Um, I can definitely recommend both the Philippines and Vietnam because they are not too touristy yet. They will be soon. So it's, uh, it's very beautiful and it's uh, worth, worth visiting. Okay. Yeah. What have we learned from traveling? Um, to be independent, trust myself and be brave. It's brave and do things that scare you. Okay. Is it expensive to travel? N not when you travel in Southeast Asia, no. Um, mm -hmm. You can travel quite for quite a long time with very little money. Um, and I think in these uh, countries it's also quite cheap to get a hotel or a hostel. So. Yeah, it's quite cheap. It's not expensive to travel. And when you travel, do you like to live in a hostel or in a hotel? Mostly, I used uh, I used to live in a hostel. It's only now because of the whole COVID situation that I'm staying in a hotel, and yeah, it's quite a different experience than being in a hostel. Okay, and when you compare traveling now and traveling many years ago, is there any difference? Yeah, it's yeah. I think it's different um, because of the whole COVID situation. It's you can see that the tourism has been low for almost two years, and everything is just opening up. And they are the people, at least here in Thailand, is very uh, eager to have tourists come so that they can uh, make some money again. Yeah. Okay. Your yeah, longest travel experience? Uh, I was traveling two year, three years ago. I was traveling for three and a half, four months. Wow. Yeah. Where in in Asia? Yeah, that was in Asia. Which country was that? Um, I went around. So I that was the whole trip where I started in Singapore. I started in Vietnam. Had to go to Singapore for a visa run. Then I went to Malaysia, then I went to Thailand, then I went to the Philippines, then I went to Bali. Yes. And then I went to Thailand again before going home. Okay. So when you are traveling, do you, when you are traveling, uh, do you make research? Do you conduct research for you travel? If I what? When you want to travel to any country, do you make research? Do you find out information about the countries before you travel to? Hmm, not that much, no. I think I have an impression in my head of how the place is going to be. And of course you need to research a little bit concerning visa and everything. But that's it. I don't uh, investigate too much. Okay. What about the Have you had any problems traveling? Um, well... At my long trip I took three years ago, I hadn't uh, checked up on the whole visa thing. Yes. So when I was at the airport going for this long trip, I was standing in Copenhagen and I hadn't prepared anything with the visa for Vietnam. So at the counter for the plane, they told me that I couldn't come. I couldn't join the plane if I didn't have a visa. So quickly I had to register for a visa and get a flight out of uh, Vietnam. Yeah. Okay, nice. What was your longest road trip? My longest road trip? Yes. Hmm. I, I, I guess that must be the, the long trip I did back three years ago. Where? I don't... I, 
I think I consider my whole traveling as a road trip because I always move. I never stay in the same place, but I don't really travel by car. Yeah, I mean, longest road trip traveling by car. Yeah, I haven't done those. Mm -hmm. I haven't done those. You mostly travel by plane. Yeah, or when I'm here, then I go by bus or uh, boats or something like that. I don't really go by car. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks for talking with me. Thank you. I really appreciate your time. Yeah, it was nice have talking to you. Time. Me too. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Okay. Bye bye.